Do you know the story of Puncinello? It's from Max Lucado about a wooden puppet who lived in a town where people stick each other full with stickers. Stars if you did great, great points if you missed it. And Puncinello was the one who had a lot of great points. Obviously, he missed it a lot in his life. One day in our small group, we went through this story. And in the beginning, my prayer was really God touched my heart through some parts of these stories. And I was curious and wondering which part would touch my heart at that evening. It was right that part when Puncinello came to the woodcutter Eli in order to get rid of all these gray points. And Eli told him, Puncinello, you don't have to care about what people are saying. That's why you get these gray uh, stickers. I don't care either. Don't care about what people are saying. And Puncinello left and all the stickers were still sticking on him. This fact this hit me that evening and it made me really angry. And I told Jesus, see, this Puncinello came to Eli, hoping, expecting that he would get rid of all them and nothing happened. It hit me because I felt for several weeks that God does not answer my prayers anymore. I prayed and not for myself, I prayed for my friends and nothing happened. No help, no change, nothing. And this made me angry. And I said, I would have expected this Eli scratching the stickers away, at least that nothing happened. You let them go and nothing changed. This is unfair. And then Jesus told me and he said, Eli did not let go Puncinello with doing nothing. He gave him a thought. This is like medicine. When he takes that thought and starts to believe in it, starts to swallow this medicine, something from inside happened and that would have removed all the stickers by once and forever. And otherwise, Puncinello had to visit this Eli over and over again and over and over again, scratching away and nothing changed. And it is as if Jesus told me, when I do not answer your prayers the way you are expecting, it's because I'm interested to solve the root problem and not fixing the surface only. This thought really touched my heart and I realized God is so much bigger than my thoughts. God's ways are so much bigger than my ways. He knows so much more than I do. I see just a little point of view, but he has the whole big picture in his mind. And I love to encourage you with that story, with that point that if you are in a kind of same situation, you feel like left behind, left aside, be forgotten from God. No, he is interested to solve our roots problem and not only fixing our surface. Be blessed with that thought and thank you so much for listening. See you next time. Bye-bye.